Hello everyone, my name is Kodamore and welcome back to Godot Basics. Creating a project with Godot is really simple. Once you've opened the Godot application, you will be presented with the Project Manager. And on the right side of the Project Manager, we have a few options. We are going to select New Project. The first thing that this New Project dialog is going to ask us for is a project name. I'm going to name mine Godot Basics. Next, we have to select the location that we want our Godot projects to be stored in. So underneath Project Path here, I'm going to click the Browse button and I want to store all my projects in this Godot tutorial folder that I have. You can of course select any location that you need. And I'm going to go ahead and click Select Current Folder. Now a Godot project must be created in a completely empty folder. So it says please choose an empty folder. I'm just going to create a folder called Godot Basics, my project name, inside of this project path that I selected. And I can do that by clicking the Create Folder button. And that is where my project will now be stored. Next we have to select our renderer. Now you can change this at any time in your project settings. Currently the two options are OpenGL ES3 and ES2. OpenGL3 will have a few more features available especially pertaining to graphics and rendering, primarily with 3D. And it's not recommended to be used if you're planning on releasing your game for any older hardware, such as older phones, or if you want to release your game to be played in the web browser. The other option is OpenGL2. OpenGL2 will work on most hardware, and it's recommended to be used if you want your game to be played in a web browser. Next, we are going to select the Create and Edit button, which will open up the Godot editor. Once the editor opens up, you will be presented with a view that looks similar to this. The first thing you need to do when creating a project is select the first type of scene that you are going to be creating. We're going to discuss scenes in a future episode. But for now, just check if you're going to be making a 2D game or a 3D game. We're going to be experimenting with 2D first, so I will select 2D Scene when it says Create Root Node. This will create something called a Node 2D, and we'll notice that we now have an unsaved scene. Now in order to actually run our game and make sure everything's working, we need to make sure we save this scene. To do that, we can go to the Scene menu and select Save Scene, or just press Ctrl S. This will open the resource directory of your project. For now, this is fine. We are going to name this scene Main Scene, and the extension is .tscn and we'll just save that right in that res folder. Next, we'll go up to the top right and we can select the play button to actually start up our game. Once we do that though, it'll ask us to select a main scene or the scene that we want our project to start in. We'll click the select button and double click the main scene that we just checked. This should now open up your Godot game and we should see a completely blank screen. And that's all there is to it to creating a Godot project and getting it to run.